Is the total alkalinity level in swimming pools really all that important? And maybe you're having trouble balancing your water chemistry and you've kind of ended up with everything in the right range except for the total alkalinity. And you're like, do I really need to worry about this? And the answer is, I mean, yes, ultimately, at the, at the end of the day, there is a reason why we have established ranges for the total alkalinity. And perhaps if you understood its function a little more, maybe it would help you to understand why you need it. And the reason why we need it is without the total alkalinity, or let's just say you have no total alkalinity, it's reading zero, you can expect to have wild and unpredictable fluctuations in the pH of the water, which obviously would be not ideal at all. And that's what the alkalinity does. It provides a buffer against movement of the pH in the water. And the higher the alkalinity alkalinity level, the greater that buffering effect. And I do believe it's a, a logarithmic scale. Um, like when it moves higher, it's much more difficult for you to move your pH levels. And further to this, this is why you're supposed to adjust the alkalinity in your water first, followed by the pH. And it could be that you've been going in the wrong order and chasing your tail. And when you finally do get your alkalinity set at the right level, perhaps 100 or 120 parts per million, it kind of depends. Every pool and spa is unique. So the exact level that you need to have will change, but you probably are going to need to end up in that level. And many pool and uh, pool and spa owners will end up in a situation where they've got everything correct, but the alkalinity is 40, 60 parts per million. It's like, is this enough? Is this going to be a problem? And the answer is, is yes, ultimately, you should be trying to achieve it in the correct range along with everything else. And the way you accomplish that is by starting with the alkalinity and then adjusting the pH. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.